It's being called a pioneering event that holds great promise for children who have Duchenne muscular dystrophy. After decades of research, animal studies, and human trials, the FDA just approved the first ever gene therapy for the inherited incurable disease. And it was developed at Nationwide Children's Hospital here in Columbus. Dr. Jerry Mendel launched the gene therapy research project in 1999 and calls the newly approved therapy the biggest event in the history of muscular dystrophy. We've been uh, desperate for a treatment for this disease. It's devastating. It takes uh, childhood pleasures away, quality of life, everything, and now we have a way of restoring it. A way to restore movement and motion for children who lost both. Incredible. I mean, we've seen boys who could hardly get up from the floor who, who now pop up. We have boys who couldn't climb stairs. They had to hold on to the rail, go up one step at a time, and now they can uh, leave the rail and go up with reciprocal stairs and virtually run up the stairs. They run beautifully. They ride bikes. They can do all these things that are very important in a child's life. Four boys, starting at ages four to seven, were part of a five-year study. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a genetic disorder that affects muscles, progressively weakening those who have it. It affects mostly boys and begins in utero. We did a newborn screening study that involved 4,000 boys all over the state of Ohio. And when we identified those boys as they were born, we recognized that they had a muscle disease by what we call a biomarker. That biomarker is the target of Dr. Mendel's special therapeutic gene. His team developed a delivery system, a virus. And then we take it and we put it into a virus. The virus, I mean, it's incredible that it would get packaged. The viral genes go out the muscular dystrophy gene comes in. The virus doesn't know which, which gene it's carrying. And we inject them into the vein of a child. It goes all over their body. It goes, I mean, we have a huge amount of, of muscle. In the trial, the therapeutic genes found their targets, replacing the disease genes and restoring muscle function. The FDA agreed. It works. When the FDA called, all I did was sit and cry in here. I mean, that's how it made me feel. I couldn't, it was overwhelming. Dr. Mendel credits his team, including nurse practitioner Kelly Lehman, for helping him change young lives. That is where things get overwhelming. I mean, when I come into the room, I would frame it this way. Kelly gets to be the bad guy and I get to be the good guy. She's the one that lines them up for blood draws and everything and I come in and they give me a hug and they say, I love you, Dr. Mendel, and that's all I need. A company called Sarepta Therapeutics will produce and distribute the gene therapy treatment and they say they will make it available as soon as possible.